So this is not going to be a full-blown review of the Logitech MX Mini, and that is because this keyboard's been out for a long time now, and there's plenty of reviews out there where they actually kind of dive deep into all the different features that it can do. I'm just going to talk about from my previous experience with it, because I've had the keyboard now for two and a half years. I first purchased it in January 2022. So prior to this keyboard, I actually had the Keychron K2 mechanical keyboard, and then prior to that, I had the Logitech Craft, the one with the dial at the top left. So starting off with the Logitech Craft, it had a dial on the top left, and the idea that I had was that it could help speed up my editing processes, but I'd be able to dial in for like exposure, white balance contrast with the dial up top. I didn't actually like it. In the end, I actually found it very impractical and it just didn't serve my purpose. And then in the end, I ended up just with a long keyboard. And then I didn't like the numpad on the side here because in my current position, when I actually work, this is my hand position. And then if you've got the numpad here, it pushes my hand position for the mouse a bit more further over, which felt unnatural. And around about that time, my cousin was also into mechanical keyboards and he actually brought a few around for me to test out and I actually really did enjoy using them. I really enjoyed the feel, I really enjoyed the sound. So that's when I decided to purchase the Keychron K2, which is obviously a shorter keyboard. But then I had issues with it where with the hand position, because the keyboard was very thick, it was raising up my wrist in this position and it was then starting to give me wrist pain. So I actually decided to give up on that Keychron K2 and then I actually went back to the Logitech. And then this keyboard got released without the dial at the top and without the numpad. And I just thought, you know, this keyboard is going to serve me perfectly. So I love the minimalistic look. It goes very well with my Logitech mouse. It's low profile, so it's very comfortable to type on. And for the most part, I've had no issues with it for the past couple of years. What I really like about this keyboard though is actually because I have a personal MacBook and a work MacBook. So how I've actually got my desk set up is that I've actually got the Logitech Bolt connected to my monitor via USB-C. So channel one, I've got it actually connected to the Logitech Bolt. Channel two, I've got it connected to my personal laptop. And then channel three, I've got it connected to my work laptop. That's the exact same configuration I have for my MX Master 3. So when I actually connect the laptops to my monitor via Thunderbolt 3 USB-C, that would actually handle the power and the image data going back and forth. And with that, that also recognizes the peripherals that I got connected to it. So that way, when I'm on the login screen on my MacBook, I can actually go to channel one and just log in through here. Whereas if I was to try and do it through channel two or three, the laptop wouldn't have it fully booted up at that point to allow it to connect to Bluetooth devices. But if connected through USB-C through Thunderbolt, it would actually recognize through the dongle because as far as it's concerned, it's actually thinking it's a wired keyboard going directly into it. So that's why I've got the mouse and keyboard set to channel one. Then once booted up, I then actually switched to my actual device, which is either two or three, depending if I use my personal or my work laptop. And the reason why I've done that is because it actually recognizes more generic keyboards and then the actual icons and symbols are in different places. But if I select it and it connects through Bluetooth directly to the laptop, then it recognizes it's a Logitech MX Mini. Now for the most part, I've had no complaints with this keyboard. I've actually really enjoyed using it but I did miss the tactile mechanical sound of the Keychron K2. Where I did enjoy the low profile form factor of this keyboard, I enjoyed using it. I didn't enjoy the feel of it and I didn't enjoy the sounds of it either. It just didn't feel premium, it felt relatively cheap. I'm more or less at my desk daily working full time and freelance. And I typically find myself charging this keyboard around about once a month. And over time, it's actually held up pretty good. I'm not entirely sure why, but overall, the keys have actually held up very well, except for the N key. I'm not entirely sure why the N key is actually worn out more than the rest of them, because in, from my typical usage, when I'm editing on Premiere Pro, there's gonna be a lot of command Z, command V, command X, V, and C. Otherwise, when I'm typing, I'm all over the place. So I can't explain 100% why that is the one key that's decided to worn out, whereas the rest of them look pretty good. I've never had any issues with any keys getting stuck, any keys not responding, no connection issues, whether going through the Logitech Bolt or into it directly to the laptop. It's actually served me perfectly well. And as before, it's just the fact that I just like the tactile feel and that's a personal preference. You may not need it and you may be perfectly fine with how this is. And aesthetically, it looks perfect against my MX Master mouse. I have the Master free for business and that's because I needed it to connect to the same Logitech Bolt device. Previously, I had the MX Master 3, which didn't connect to that same Bolt unit. So if you're going to try and have a similar setup, you're going to need to be slightly conscious of the fact that they need to be compatible with the same Logitech Bolt or Logitech dongle, I should say. So overall, this keyboard served me perfectly fine. Not much more to say about it. So despite being perfectly happy with this keyboard for the past two and a half years, I am actually going to retire it now. I'm going to park it aside. And it's being replaced with the Logitech MX Mechanical Mini.